What's the best way to lose five pounds of pure body fat the fastest? What's up guys? It's Anthony from AB Fitness Center where we help you to lose body fat, gain muscle, and get stronger. Guys, today we're gonna talk about how to lose five pounds of body fat as fast as possible. All right, we're gonna go into some math here and I'm gonna explain to you how exactly to lose five pounds of these. So this is exactly one pound of body fat. And you guys can see, kind of gross. You can actually see the cellulite in it, okay? So in the red spots are blood. <laughs> it's not, this is not real, all right? This is just a replica, but pretty cool just to give you kind of a visual reference here. But how do we lose five pounds, okay, of pure fat? Now there's a difference, I'm gonna put my fat down. <laughs> so there's a difference between actually losing weight on the scale and actually losing pure body fat. Now, like I told you, pure body fat is this nasty yellow stuff that kind of sits on your love handles or sits like here or whatever, and you hate it. That's body fat. That's exactly what we're talking about. So typically when someone goes on like a fad diet or they go on like, um, I don't know, whatever, some type of diet and they lose a lot of weight quickly, typically they lose a little bit of muscle and they lose a little bit of fat and they lose a little bit of water. But that's not necessarily real fat loss. I'm sure you know someone who went on a crazy diet, lost a bunch of weight, but actually doesn't really look any different, right? And typically when that happens, they actually lost muscle. Now, muscle is what actually makes your body change and change the way you look. The more muscle you have, the more toner you're gonna be, the more leaner you're gonna be, the better you're gonna look, right? Plus muscle speeds up your metabolism, so the more muscle you have, the better off you're gonna be, period. Your metabolic rate's gonna be better, and you're gonna look, feel, and just everything's gonna be better, right? So. There's a difference between just losing weight and actually losing body fat. So when it comes to actually losing pure body fat, what do we have to do? Well, you know, most people would say, okay, if I want to lose just fat, I'm going to go do a ton of cardio. So 70% of their time is actually spent doing a ton of cardio, trying to burn as many calories as possible. Problem with that is your body gets used to the amount of cardio you're doing. It actually becomes less efficient to you. So cardio is not the answer. 70% of your results are gonna come from what you eat. I've said that in like every video I've ever posted on YouTube. <laughs> so if you've heard me say that before, hit that like button. And uh, guys, I can't believe I forgot to say it. Hit that subscribe button so you never, ever, ever miss a beat. But anyway, neither here nor there, you wanna make sure that your nutrition is on point. You cannot outwork a bad diet. If I have ice cream right now, and I go and I, I eat, you know, whatever, 500 calories worth of ice cream, if I go and burn 500 calories, it doesn't really work like that. Your body's gonna hold and maintain what it wants and you lose body fat over the course of weeks and months, not necessarily in one day or in one workout. So, what people think is actually hard is the workouts that's gonna take to actually burn this five pounds of fat, right? Remember, five of these, there's only one. So. It's not the workout that's the hardest part, it's actually gonna be the eating. Cause think about it, you go to the gym, you know, a couple times a week, even if you don't wanna go, you kinda force yourself in there, you listen to one of my other videos on motivation and why motivation's actually bullshit, and you say, all right, I'm gonna get my ass to the gym, you go to the gym, you force your way through it, you get done, you feel good, whatever. But the hard part is gonna be your nutrition because the nutrition is 24 seven, 365. You're going to be constantly faced with a choice of what to eat, eating good, eating bad. There's always going to be that moment where you have, you're at that pinnacle point where you're like, all right, I can either, I'm starving right now. I could either have, you know, a burger and fries or I can have what I'm supposed to have, right? So the nutrition is the hardest part because it's a 24 seven thing. You know, exercise portion of it's kind of easy. You go to the gym a couple times a week, you make it there, you do it. That's it. It's done. As soon as you leave, you're done with it. But the nutrition, all day. So that's what makes this so hard. This is why not everyone's lean. So it really boils down to what you eat. So this one pound of body fat contains calories. So body fat really does nothing. It just kind of sits on your body and just looks nasty, right? It doesn't have any sort of function in your body. So it's basically like a storage device. So every time we overeat, our body stores the excess calories in body fat, okay? so. In one pound of body fat contains 3,500 calories. 3,500, that's a lot, right? So think about how many, uh, you know, how much food that actually is, but that's a lot, right? So if you, have a, if you have five pounds of this and you wanna lose five pounds, you have to burn about 17, 
1,500 calories to burn five pounds of pure fat, right? That's the math. It's just that simple. So that's a lot of calories to burn. So as you can see, all those things that you see in magazines, that's not real weight loss. That's not real body fat loss. We're looking for body fat, right? We want this to be gone. So when you're looking for long-term sustainable results, the best thing you could do is, like I said, focus on your nutrition. I tell, I said this time and time again to everybody. In order to lose fat, you have to be eating less calories than you're burning. Okay, so you have to be in a calorie deficit. You have to be eating less. Very simple, right? So in order to do that, one of the key components is you're gonna have to track your food intake. You're gonna have to download an app like MyFitnessPal. You could use paper and pen. You could kind of do whatever you want as long as you're tracking your intake. You're gonna do that for about three to five days, okay? You're gonna take the average amount of calories you've eaten over those couple of days and you're gonna minus 500 from them if you didn't lose any weight. If you lost weight during that week, then I would probably leave the calories the same, but that's a more in-depth coaching question. But just a general blanket, if you're maintaining your weight, I would deduct 500 calories from it. So let's say you're eating 2,500 calories, just to say when you average it out, if you wanna lose one pound of fat a week, which was long-term sustainable, you would have to minus 500 from every day. And that would net you after seven days, one pound of body fat gone. All right. So that's simple math. So that means that in order to lose five pounds of pure body fat as fast as possible, which is long term and sustainable, it's going to take you about five weeks. Now, I know you said like in the title, you're like, Anthony, what's going on? The title says the fastest way. Well, it should probably also say the fastest and permanent way. Because the goal is not to just lose the five pounds, the goal is to keep that five pounds off. If you wanna lose five pounds fast, yeah, you could deduct more calories from the week, but your body's gonna to adapt to that. So this is why it's better to do slower. So for example, if you were having the 2,500 calories, like I said, and you wanted to lose two pounds every week, you'd have to deduct 1,000 calories from that. So now that's at 1,500 calories. That's a, lot, that's a really big jump What's gonna happen is you could do it for a little bit of time, but your body is gonna fight you on that. You're gonna get hungrier more, you're gonna be more cranky, it's gonna make that dieting process that much more difficult, and your body's gonna fight you. And then what happens is as soon as you lose the five pounds, you're gonna go ravenous and gain it all back. Slow is fast, guys. Trust me, I've been doing this a long time. Slow is fast. Take your time with it. Lose anywhere between half a pound to one pound of this per week, and that will leave you with a more of a permanent result. All right, so hopefully that makes sense to you guys. Again, I'm sorry this you know, fast is not overnight. That's not real body fat loss, and that's what we're looking for, real body fat loss. All right, guys, hopefully this video helped you. Hopefully it gave you the, the building blocks and the tools and the starting point to be able to lose five pounds of pure body fat as fast as possible. All right, guys, make sure you hit that subscribe button. This way you never miss a beat. And if you have any questions about nutrition or training or anything, just drop them below uh, and let me know or follow me on Instagram at ABFitness and I'll gladly answer your questions. All right, guys, I'll catch you on the next one.